think these are look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass smokers. I don't do none of that. I be vibing. I just be tapping. I just be vibing. I don't smoke with them. Soul, I ain't in the street. I don't get No lie to be real <laughs> Small business, I don't sell drugs To be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling seat malls That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking So, now with that video After that video, I feel like this is the perfect video to watch next this is actually the perfect, I'm so glad it just came across my timeline too, because this is perfect video to watch. And this one is going to be able to go up on the gaming channel after we just watch that. Next video we about to watch, Fit X Fearless. Shout out to him, bro. This video is titled, Most Guys Still Aren't Getting Laid. Good transition from the last video. So... Let's go ahead and check out this Where's video. Where's the N-words? Black Man Zay, thank you for the 19 months. Thank you, my nigga. Appreciate you, bro. Let's go ahead and check out this video by Fitix Fearless and see what's going on with this. Brian, how old are you, man? Oh, 39 and a half. So, just a quick question. Hold on, what, what's going on with this? Where's the N-words? Okay, okay, quiet. What do you say? 1080, but this look. Baraku Daku, thank you for the 13 months. What's good, bro? What's good, nigga? Uh, heard you met my Uncle Ruggers. You already know he family. He definitely is, bro. And when's the last time you got some? Uh, stop the camera, man. Oh. Bro, he's, come on, man. We know what he on. Bro, he, he, he man, he, we got some dick. You, what you mean, bro? Come on, dog. You, FedEx, you know bro was on that side. You know that. That nigga, you know we played for the Chiefs. This, this too obvious, bro. The way he just, Do come you on, bro. Some money? You know he's Later an old Chiefs player. About to go to the gym. We you can't even play like that. You definitely me earlier, Unc. Good shit. All right, Antizzi. All right, bro. Come on, bro. We know this. This is, e this is easy. Oh, In this video, I'm exposing the harsh realities of how many men are not getting laid as frequently as they would like. The reason I'm making this video is because one of three men, 18 somebody. to 30. I thought that building back there said Nigaroni. Also, flame <laughs> fruit awakening right here. What the fuck? Yo, bro. Now I got to rewind it. Now I have to rewind it, bro. What the fuck? Yo. Does it? Nigga, does that shit say Negroni? Bro. Uh, stop the camera, man. Oh. Stop the camera. It definitely says Negroni. It didn't say Negroni, but it says Negroni. Yeah, bro, I didn't even peep that, nigga. What the hell, bro? In this video, I'm exposing oh, the harsh man. realities Negroni, of how nigga. many men are not getting laid as frequently as they would like. The reason I'm making this video is because one out of three men, 18 to 30, have not had sex within the last year. Guys don't know how to approach women. Guys not even getting dates. So I decided I was going to go out in the streets of Miami and ask guys, when was the last time you got laid? How frequently are you getting it? Because I know for sure women are getting it whenever they want. Women get sex whenever they want. She can blink and, and call out in a while and sleep with as many dudes as she wants. Y'all remember I told y'all that. And if anybody in here is struggling on getting women, trust me, holla at this man FedEx Felix, bro, on his Instagram. All you got to do is DM him the word elite, E-L-I-T-E. -E. Trust me, he really will help. There's plenty of y'all in here struggling. You ain't got to lie about it. Definitely a lot of you lurkers. A lot of you lurkers, too. Y'all know that y'all struggling. It is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't sit there and just, oh, no, I ain't got to. I'll figure it out. You, you ain't figured it out yet, bro. Holla at somebody like him. He really will help you, for real. But a man, even though he might get laid every now and then, it takes him a lot of effort to do so. So I want to go prove this theory in the streets. So let's prove it. Let's jump exactly. right in. Cozy Boy Baby said 18 to 30 not getting laid. That's our best years. Exactly. And niggas ain't doing it. Niggas, they can't get it. Uh, Device Lag said, you really spelled elite for us? Yes, because there's niggas out here who would probably have spelled it. Come on, man. Into the video, guys. Brian, how old are you, man? Oh, 39 and a half. So... Just a quick question. Bro. When's the last time you got some? Come on. You know you about gay as hell. Uh, and, and then he... No, come on, bro. You ain't a little teapot. Man, get your gay ass on somewhere, bro. Nigga, laid by a girl, not a nigga. Uh, stop the camera, man. Oh. The camera. This is a fruit. All right. I'm not doing a straight intro. No? Sorry, guys. Okay. I'm here with Carlos. Where you from? <laughs> 
It's just the way he, he, he like, <laughs> bro, the confidence in that. Carlos, like, nigga, bro. <laughs> And then it's the way, <laughs> like he said that shit strong as hell, bro. Nah, I fuck with my nigga Carlos, but that nigga said that shit strong as a Carlos, like nigga. All right, I'm not doing this. Nigga, no, bro. Sorry, okay. <laughs> I'm here with Carlos. Yes. Where you from, man? I'm originally uh, from Mexico, but uh, I've been living in the United States for 30 years. Okay. So my Carlos, question bro. to you is: When's the last time you got laid? Ah, uh, come on, don't lie, Carlos. You know you slaying shit. Bro, you know he, you know he got one of them, uh, the, one of them joints that killed Selena. One of them joints that look like they killed Selena, bro. You know he got one of them joints in the tuck. Don't lie. I will say like a uh, couple months. Couple a months. Couple months. How come? Bro, you Mexican? You ain't got a family? You lying? I know this nigga got a whole family. Why are you over here lying, bro? Uh, because you know I've been doing some. I was working a lot, uh, like six days, ten hours, and it's, it was kind of hard to go out, you know, because. Specific project that I was doing from work. Yeah. So you've been busy with work. That's why you. Yeah, that's why. That's why. But uh, now, if, if you are talking about like uh, going back to my normal life, it's uh, it depends. It depends. If you are talking about here in Miami, it's if okay. You, let me ask you the last girl. Bro, if I was in Miami, it'd be a wreck. Like I'd probably be chilling because I don't I don't really like fucking like a lot of girls at once. I don't really do that shit no more. But like, yeah, it probably. You be need wreck. some money. Nigga said he slayed Yolanda. Him crying. Th th that was her name, Yolanda. You were where, where did you meet her? Uh, I will say like um, in Maxis in one of these restaurants. <laughs> yeah, in Max. Yeah, but uh, in here in Brico, pretty much you can find her here in the mall Brico. or in the cafe. But uh, to answer to your questions, in Max is this uh Canadian chain so, restaurant. Okay, so you do you mostly meet women only like in the day? You don't meet them. You don't use day naps, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, a few a few times dating apps, but uh, I've my experience in dating apps is being kind of odd. Hard? Yeah, odd. I, my, my man, you about old as hell. Of course. Bro look good for his age, but I know he at least about 40. Because it's a lot of fake, you know, profiles. It depends what you application you, you use, right? Fake? What application you use? Uh, like a Bumble. Um, like sometimes a, a Facebook. It comes with it, but it's just been kind of... I don't know. It's, it's different. It's different. So you think the profiles are, are, are not good or do you think it's anything that has to do with you? No. Well, it's just <laughs> um, maybe I, I'm just not putting a lot of time in, into those apps. Yeah. I prefer, you in know, person, going yeah. to library or to the mall, to the bars or nightclubs, even though it's... Hold up, though. Carlos, right? Yeah, Carlos. Okay, do you think that the girls at the nightclubs or the bars no, are necessarily not. better than no, the... No, 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 it's not that. I mean, I just meet them because I, I, like, I, I like to have fun. Uh, K Kama said the library is crazy. Why is it? See, 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 you a man who likes limiting the options that they don't even have. What do you mean the library is crazy? How is that crazy? Finding girls at the library? Bro, you can find girls anywhere. What are you talking about, K Kama? The library's... How's that crazy? Bro, that's like a very common spot to meet girls. What? Oh, you... Oh, he said, hold trying to read. Oh, yeah, okay. He... Yeah, he okay, he, he in there. You know he one of them. Uh, Y'all know me. I'm going to keep pushing. He one of them. Okay. Nothing serious. So, Zanine, I didn't say Carlos was a freak or anything, but you know he at least got a few kids. That's what I mentioned. That's why I mentioned bars, nightclubs. Where but if you want something... I know he got a few. Your dark skin TN, thank you for the 29 months, my nigga. 29. Thank you, bro. Approaching the three years, man. I'm more serious, maybe like in a cafe, in a bookstore, even though in today's day, it's, it's been kind of challenging. Let's think of Clementine in the back, bro. Yo, Clementine, get your black ass on somewhere, bro. The fuck wrong with this nigga, man? Who, wait, he thought we were going to notice him? Clementine, yo, you, you ain't, why ain't you say what up to the nigga? You know, you know, as many times we watch the nigga FedEx, you ain't want to say something to him, bro. Fuck wrong with this nigga Clementine. I thought he was going to skate, escape like that in the background. It's even though in those areas, nigga, you know, because, you know. So I, I'm pretty sure you, you probably make decent money, but you work a lot. So it's kind of challenging for you to fit dating with work. That's that's what the, that's the problem you're having? Uh, it can be. It's part of it. But uh, because I live here in Miami, things are becoming a little bit more challenges. Um, I ain't going to hold you. Like, bro. If I was this nigga, I understand he working a lot and shit like that, but I'm not gonna lie, bro. In Miami, like my at least from what I from what my experience, like you can literally just walk outside real quick and you can find something. I'm talking about bro, he he walking the street right now. Bro, it is that simple. 
Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Just walk the street, bro. You gonna find something. To men in Miami dating. Um, what do you mean? Like, give me a, a, one example. I uh, just a lot of women. My what I kept seeing, uh, they watch a lot of social medias. They like to compare to other people. Mm. Uh, they want easy monies, you know. And yeah, I don't live in uh, Miami to know all this because yeah, this ain't this ain't like you know this sound like he be on Twitter too much. You know what I'm saying? Or watching too many podcasts. I ain't gonna hold you, but he live in Miami, so it is it's probably different. And, uh, and if you drive drive a nice car or or if you have like a designing clothes. King King Nantels, no he this nigga King Nantels said FedEx looks like King Nantels. You act like I wasn't gonna notice that you the nigga that said that. Yo, what the hell? No, he you do, you do not look like FedEx. What the a lot of times um depends where you are, but if you are talking about kidding in Brico or in South Beach, a lot of girls thinking about just that, you know. And it's, and it's, it's it has become lately uh, challenges because of the social media, you know. So it's been dated hard because of social media. It's harder to me because Miami, to me, I see it as a playground. If, if, if we're talking about Miami, yeah, it's it's becoming harder, and especially here in Brico area, yeah, it's it's not easy. It's not easy because a lot of girls they say, <laughs> "Nah, look at what Chris is saying." Nah, chill out, chill out, yo, chill out, my man Carlos, nigga. Chill on my man Carlos. Yo, chill. Look at what this nigga said, bro. Yo, chill, man. Yo, let my nigga live, bro. Let my nigga live. Dead ass. Chill out, bro. Chill out, y'all. Seriously, man. Yo, chill out, bro. Let my nigga live, bro. This is my motherfucking nigga Carlos, bro. Let my nigga live, bro. Y'all niggas some assholes, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is y'all niggas, bro? My nigga Io said, thank you for that gifted, bro, to this nigga. This nigga Crix is, is such a fucking asshole for saying that shit. But yo, shout out to yo Io saying for that gifted form. Yo, chill out, though. Let my nigga live, bro. Okay, the guys, they just want to get laid. Niggas the ladies say, say, okay, they need to spend media. good money on me. And sometimes... They just use man, and so you don't know when you know you don't know yeah, when like exact exact. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If I was older, I ain't going to Miami. Why would I go to a party city? Why would I go live in a party city? If I'm older, if I'm 40 years old and I ain't rich, if I was 40 years old and I'm rich as hell, to where I can provide the lifestyle that would attract the women in Miami, I'd do it. If I'm 40 years old working a regular ass job, what the fuck I look like going to Miami, living there? Probably just because of the money, you know, and and, and here in Miami, talking about my own dating, like, ah, uh, can you find a person that you can trust? Yes, you can, but things are becoming more. This nigga FedEx laugh because he know he <laughs> trust a Miami bitch. He like difficult shit. lately. This nigga, yeah. he know. Guys don't understand the importance of their looks. A lot of guys think that meeting women happens by luck. Oh no, my image okay. has no relation to why this girl doesn't like me. My image has no correlation to why I'm struggling. No, I'm on dating apps and the girls are fake. I'm at the clubs and the girls are this. You're not mm -hmm. as attractive as you think you are. Facts. I do live Let these niggas every know. single week. Every single time a guy is telling me that he thinks he's an eight, I look at his picture and he's a five. He's a six. You have to be more objective about your looks. If women aren't sweating you, if you're not getting dates as frequent as you want, you're not as good looking as you think you are. And Facts. it's okay. None of us, all of us aren't born Chads and Tyrones. It's okay to have to work on your image a little bit to make yourself the most attractive version of yourself. There are He's not lying. Like I said, look at looks objectively. Stop thinking, oh, well, I like this. This looks good. Nigga, you still ugly as hell. If that if that shit was going to work for you, it would have worked for you by now, and it still ain't. Stop thinking. Like, some of y'all niggas be out here like, with a mohawk and all of this weird shit. Wonder why you ain't getting no bitches. Who the fuck you think you tapping on? The motherfucking Dragon Ball Z, the Tapion, what the fuck the nigga name was with the sword? You ain't him? Fuck you got a mohawk for? You think you're the elder Kai? Nigga, chill the fuck out, bruh. Fuck wrong with you. And then, and then some of y'all niggas, even with y'all beards and shit, the shit y'all be doing with the shot glizzy motherfucking sideburns and shit, niggas be looking about weird as hell. Y'all gotta chill, bro. You gotta learn what women actually find attractive, nigga. Things about you that you can improve to make you more attractive. The way you are isn't good enough. Don't think that you looks, you're just born with it. Very few people are just born with extreme looks. Every single one of us has our strengths and our weaknesses. And if you do a good job of highlighting your strengths, right, you can you be more attractive guy. Niggas looking like Hercule and think they the shit. Like Hercule. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, niggas gotta learn that even the hairstyles girls like. Like niggas be niggas have to understand. Only certain niggas can get away with like certain hairstyles, and a lot of y'all can't. What up? What up, Moam Rizzle? What up, bro? Thank you for the follow too. 
Look at me, for instance, guys. I've improved my looks year after year after year. If you look at my photos from four years this ago, nigga was looking I was crazy a five before. or six just like you. <laughs> but now you look at me, you know what I'm saying? I'm the I'm closer to Michael B. Jordan than you are to me. It's just real, reality. Okay, so I've done the work to improve my looks and I understand. Yo, you scared? How am I little beautiful? You okay? Are you crying or something? Okay, your eyes just like, how am I little baby? What'd you eat? What'd you eat when y'all was out? Nigga! You said it's Man, go ahead. It's, it's go tanks. Baraku Daku, thank you for the gifted. I'm a little perfect little baby. At 7:30, at 8 o'clock, get in the shower. If you uh, if you know you're gonna take a long one, get now. Get now. You might as well get in the shower now. And get it out the way. I was gonna finish eating. Okay, I'm sorry. Go finish eating, and I apologize, my little baby. All right. You got your sword back. that how physically attracted a woman is to me is going to play a huge role in how easy she makes my life so it ain't the no fairy been i know the, the fake profiles right i'm just not as good looking as i think i am all right guys man today I, my question for you is when see with me i'm very real about my looks y'all see me tell y'all niggas all the time universally i think i'm still average you feel me you know what i'm saying y'all gotta learn to start being real about y'all looks bro a lot of y'all niggas about ugly as hell but y'all just don't want to admit it learn to admit it and then learn to look at looks objectively and improve from there. wow wow do you need some money wow i'm glad you brought up the mohawk i've seen niggas in the mid 30s still rocking that shit Boy, if don't get some waves and a fade. But niggas don't want to listen. No, because I like it. Okay, and? When's the last time? Row number 25 said, Daquan, do you have your kids do with your swords? You really think I'm going to allow my kids to... Nigga, hell no. You got laid, man. A week ago. Okay. Where did you meet the girl? I met her through a friend. Okay. Is that how you usually meet girls? Typically now, yes. Okay, you don't use no, like, dating apps, clubs? From time to time... But vetting a girl out on a dating app is much harder than if you meet her in person or through a friend. So it's not, you know, the ROI just isn't there on a dating app. He sounded like he'd be boring as shit. Okay, so like the friend introduced you? Exactly, yes. Okay, so how exactly did you vet her? It's better because you, you already have that social proof. You, knew, you know that that person is, like, interested and then also is, like, friends with a friend. Ah, okay. So... You know, so basically she's not a crazy person. There you go, exactly. Yeah. So have you met women from dating apps before? I have, and I've, I've had good encounters with them, but it's just a lot of work. You have to sift through a bunch of information. This nigga H. Day said, <laughs> this nigga sound like the text to speech. Nah, no bullshit though, bro. If you're nigga, doing no that bullshit. for work as is, then you don't want to go home and sift through more information, uh, you know? You mean like you're probably a busy guy? Data analytics, yeah, you're uh, you're analyzing data, and it's like, you know, got you. I just want to relax, meet someone, have fun, and, you know, no pressure, have a good time. Right, so you're, have you been in a relationship recently? Three-ish years ago. Okay, how'd you meet her? On Instagram. Ah, so okay. <laughs> how, how did that work out? It was okay. I, I didn't give her the love that she needed and, and vice versa, and... I wish her well, we're good friends to this day, but uh. So with that girl, with your ex, how did you vet her? I, see that's the thing, it's, an, it's a process that evolves. So I wasn't vetting like that back then. Okay. It's more so just looks driven. Mm -hmm. Whereas now, I think more down the line, cause that won't drive a relationship past the first six months right. in my experience. So you feel like it's easier for you to vet women that you see in person. Don't you think that you can implement the same principles to like Instagram as well, they oh might as well if you got it down? You know, you can, but yeah. again, it's the time thing mm. where it requires analyzing. Whereas in person, there's some intangibles the too. Like you get good energy. Like Already the way you wild. asked me to come do this. Like yeah. if you were like, come on, interview, you know, you're just sort of like, hey, you got a couple of minutes. Like yeah. it's the approach. So you could feel like what the girl's energy is like. Whereas online, it's like, you don't know until you're sitting down. Right, right. So so let me ask you, how many matches were you getting on these apps? Or like, was it a lot of volume? Or was it little volume that you still had to work through? Or what was it? 
it was probably like two to three a day that were like, you know, not maybe like the best quality, but like there's some diamonds in the rough. So, okay. you know, it was it was a mixture. Sometimes you're hot on them and the algorithm's in your favor. Okay. And other times it's like, hey, it's a desert. So, so lucky. Let me ask you this. What if on the same dating okay. app you were getting like the text and wow. this man's wow. eyebrows are having a Mexican standoff? 20, 30 a day. And then the girls would come into you. You don't think well, that's possible? Well, you see their eyebrows. That's the importance of thick eyebrows. It does look good regardless. Possible? I, no, I think that's possible. But then again, like, you're sifting through information. Still. Not really. Let's say, let's, say, let's say you had 20, 30 coming that were liking you. You, didn't, you just sat back and lived your life. Wouldn't that make it a lot easier? That would make it easier, for sure. So you think, you think maybe with the analytics side you got, if you could maybe optimize that side with the same skill sets you have bred in the girl now, don't you think you might you might find what you're looking for a lot faster? It's Game. possible. Why but are you? Oh my God, bro. The way I see that is, if you gain some type of financial success mm -hmm. and you're sitting out at a club, that's what's ending. That's what happens to you. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, what are you gonna work on doing that now, or are you gonna work on having that happen in person? You know? Right. right. I'm I, what I want guys to do just be able to do both, especially yeah. busy guys. I don't want you to to. Over pedestalize a girl you meet in person just because you think it's a better better interaction. 100%. Still be able to vet the girl so you're overall picking the best girl for you. Because what if it's a girl, that girl that you met through your friend, what if she didn't know how to meet a guy and she went on a date now and there you were and you had the same process without having to leave your house to get Yeah, it. you could be missing out. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's yeah. a good point. Number two is time management. For the life of me, I don't know why guys don't understand that being in a great career, making good money, being busy is not the only thing that you need to learn how to manage. You need to have a life outside of your job and your career. All right, bro? You can't just have a Very career true. and everything else just you just wish and guess about. You have to. He's not lying, but at the same time, it all depends on the level of, su of success that you're chasing, too. I do want to say that. Like, say, for instance, there's some people out there who want to be extremely wealthy. Hey, bro, if you got to put all of that time into that and it's working, by all means, you do it. You feel me? So, but other than that, though, if you are working like a regular job and you are comfortable with just living a regular life and stuff like that, by all means, you do need to get out there and enjoy your life. You know what I'm saying? Go out there, have some fun. But if you are, you know what I'm saying, um, trying to be, you know what I'm saying, extremely wealthy and stuff like that, and you know what it is that you got to do to put all of that time into that. It is what it is, man. Manage your time properly. The same way you've accomplished a lot with your business, the same way you've accomplished a lot with your career, you have to put that same effort into managing other parts of your life. So just because you're busy with work doesn't mean that, oh, everything else I can just say fuck all to, right? You have to manage your dating life as well. You need to have a schedule every single day. There are two things I want you to get. I want you to have a Google Calendar, download that shit today, right after this damn video. You need to put really really yo i was saying really nah but uh no bullshit do what he's do what he's telling y'all for real because once you learn how to manage your time with that calendar it's going to help you out i'm trying to tell y'all sometimes you might be thrown off but at least you know exactly how much time you got to do things so yeah do in that. your day from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep each and every single hour with reminders on what you need to do every single day so that way you can have a lot you can get a lot done with your work but you can also have time to have a more social life you and don't and, and another thing on top of that, when it comes down to that uh to that Google Calendar, that right there is what you need to follow. Don't say what you want to do. Oh man, I don't want it. It doesn't matter what you want to do. Do it because you have it planned. You can have abundance do in you all have areas of your life. Abundance doesn't just come with overcompensating with one area of your life. Think about a pendulum. You want your pendulum to be balanced as a man, not just money taking over everything, and then the rest of your life is down here, or not just women. That's not a pendulum, if I'm not mistaken, is it? A pendulum is the thing that swings back and forth. I think he's talking about a weight scale. That's not a pendulum, is it? The you know, pendulum is the thing that goes back and forth, like, uh, you know, like, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? Yeah. And social skills taking over everything, and your finances is down here. Okay. A smooth, even balance. I put just as much time into my finances and career as I do into my personal life. That way my personal life doesn't suck, and I have time to attract high quality women in my life. So every single day, every single hour is calendarized. And I guarantee you, you will find a lot of time that you're wasting, that, you, that can be allocated to improving this part of your life so you can have more peace of mind. What the fuck is the point of making money if you're gonna go home to Parmanisha? What's the point? No bullshit. Why would you work this damn hard, bro? 
No bullshit, You're making bro. your money in your career, and then you go home and, 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 and you beat your dick to death. Your dick needs a break. He's tired of you beating him to death. He wants a real woman. So instead of you doing that, learn how to manage your damn time so you can attract beautiful women, and the only sensation that you feel is not just your damn palm. All right, guys, man. Today I'm asking he's you not guys, lying. when's the last time you're- Hey, he's not lying. There's so many of y'all that do that. Like I said, so many of y'all out here too on this, oh man, um, well, Daquan, I'm on my purpose right now. That's why I'm not, you ain't getting, you wasn't getting women regardless, nigga. Let's not even sit there and lie about that, bro. You have plenty of time. You got time to beat your dick. You got time to get out there and talk to women, bro. It is what it is. A lot of y'all niggas try to use that shit as a cope. Oh, well, I'm on, I'm on my purpose. You don't even know your purpose, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? You still trying to find that shit out, bro. Shut the hell up. You know you just ain't getting no bitches, nigga. It is what it is. You guys got late. Two weeks ago. No comment. Okay. <laughs> is it good or bad? It was great. It was, it was great? great yeah. Okay. So where'd you meet the last girl? My ex-girlfriend. So are you, she, are you... So either... So look, if a man don't want to tell you when the last time he got laid, that means either he got some other bitches that, you know what I'm saying, that he dealing with that don't need to know, or he ain't... He ain't do nothing and he, he don't want to lie on his dick. He ain't really getting that. She steal your girlfriend? You just... Not anymore. So we're... So you went back to the ex? Unfortunately. Damn, bro. How come? How come? It was a layup. I mean... It was a what? It's a layup ah, with the ex. So... Okay. <laughs> so where did, you, where did you meet her? At a club. So why did it end? I moved to Miami. Oh, so she came down here and y'all all like you went over there? I lived uh, in Ohio and moved to Miami. That ended the relationship. So. How long you been in Miami? Uh, three months now. So. so how come you ain't getting no, no shawties here, man? What's going on? We broke up a month ago, so. Ah, okay. So how has dating been for you here? This will be the first real night of going out with him down okay. here now. So we'll see how tonight goes. Okay. And what you, you want to tell us? You don't got to tell us the, you don't gotta tell us when. Close to the chest, that's I all. I get you, I get you. What about, where did you meet her? Uh, the bar. The bar? Yeah. Is that how you mostly meet most girls here? Uh, I don't live here. But, okay. I mean, typically, yeah. Where do you live? I live in Cleveland. Oh, so you're both from, Yeah, right? Cleveland, yeah. Cleveland, okay. Yeah. You guys use day naps, like stuff like that, or no? I mean, I have before, but I, I'm more of an outgoing person, so I feel like meeting someone naturally is better than a stupid app, in my opinion. No, okay, first. so you think, you think the club girls are better than the day nap girls? <laughs> Uh, Yo, King Lexus, really chill, bro. <laughs> I think the dating app chill, girls dog. are the same as the club girls. Okay, so what's the difference? Uh, uh, when did you meet them on a day nap? I'm talking about me personally, like me personally, I'd rather meet someone in person to feel them out, you know what I'm saying? Get their body language, all that shit. I don't really want to be on a dating app. He's okay. not lying. Just typing, because you can't really get a read on someone on the internet, in my opinion. Gotcha. Okay, what about you? you, you, you have you been in a relationship recently? Like, when was the last uh, relationship? Yeah, on and off, yeah. Okay, where'd you meet her? The bar. Okay, so it's like <laughs> all the girls from the bar. Okay. I mean, not all of them, but that's just how it happens, bro. I don't know. I don't, I think there's an element of like, picking up women too i i don't like to like just walk up to a random girl on the street and be weird bro okay so let me ask you the I'm girls at the gym like i think that's also like off limits so he's choosing social settings okay like that's just weird so so when you go up to these girls at the bar and i'm guessing you too are you drunk when you do it it depends on the time of the night <laughs> like so okay you need that liquid depends. courage <laughs> so do you think that the 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 bar and the drinking helps you of course of yeah. course it's called liquid courage bro ah at least so, he admitted okay, though, that at same least he admitted. girl Let's say you saw her on the street. Why couldn't you talk to her and have the same confidence? I didn't say I couldn't. Okay. I just wouldn't always choose to do that. Okay. It's like right now, you see a pretty girl, you gonna run up and talk to her? I can. Yeah. I know you will, shit. I was saying that you know, every man should be able to. Fair, facts, facts. Okay. There's a time fair. and a place, bro. Okay. So you feel like the club is where you feel you probably have the most success with girls? Probably, yeah. What about you? I would say it's the easiest. It's yeah, the it's easiest? <laughs> Okay, so the, the alcohol makes everything easy. The girls are more, like, approachable or something? Yeah, and I mean, people, like, you never know. Like, this girl on the street right here could be married with children. Typically, if a girl's at a club, like, yeah, she still could be single. married. But the thing is, I also am not a big fan of the clubs because I feel like it doesn't help you with your confidence in real-world real, situations. Oh, that's facts, yeah. I learned saying? something new today. Because, right, yeah. like, yeah. you can see a cute girl right now walking past you, and she might be single, too. Right. And then all it starts is, like, just the, hey, how's it going? And you, that, that might be your wife. That might be the, the mama of your kids. You just, but you just rely on the club. Facts. You got a good point, bro. Yeah, but Take that. Number three, using crutches. All right, let's hit. it. What's All next? Guys, next? Let's What's talk next, about bro? it, man. A lot of guys are going to clubs. They need a few drinks in them. A lot of guys need some kind of wingman. A lot of guys need the fucking stars to align to be able to talk to a uh, woman. He ain't lying. You are a man. 
You need to have the balls to be able to go up to beautiful women without needing alcohol. You can't call yourself a confident man if every single time that you're around a girl, you need some kind of ego boost. You need some kind of lift. You're naturally putting a woman on the pedestal by you doing that. If you need to enhance a state of mind to be able to talk to a girl, that makes you weaker. That makes you controlled by these substances. You should be able to go up to any beautiful yeah, girl, true. have a conversation with her without needing alcohol. If the only time you meet women is at a club with a few drinks in you, then you are not a confident man. That's why I tell y'all, bro, get out there and talk to women. Just keep talking to them. Bro, it is what it is. My nigga, get out there and talk to random women. I'm trying to tell you, it'll help build your confidence up. Talk to women you don't find attractive. That's going to help build your confidence up because you don't care about striking out with her. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Because that scene... Uh, Leggy said, uh, can't you do this via dating apps too? Yeah, but he's talking about when you do it in person. He's talking about doing it in person. Though. Shit girl can be walking the streets that beautiful girl that pounding 40 pounds of ass said liquid courage blossom you called it before he said it nigga i did the fuck nigga shut that nigga don't try to sit there and do that bullshit because she a girl nigga i called it out feminine cooperative girl that you I'm so the nigga that said it. want the probably fuck? isn't in that nightclub but nigga, you, you literally heard me say it you're not going up to her when when she's taking a walk you need to go to the club and then you wonder why the girls that you're attracting are trash you wonder why you can't keep them. You wonder why they cheat on you. Or you wonder why they, you, you might, you might get with them a couple of times and that's the last you hear from them. You're picking from a trash bin and you're wondering why you, you're not getting gold. You can't dig in the trash and expect gold. Women who go to clubs, for the most part, love male attention. And then you wonder why, oh wow, girls are men, girls are so, you look where you meet them. That same girl that you claim you want, that pure girl, she might not be at the club. She might be a homebody. She might be taking a walk in the park. She might be at the grocery store. The girls that you want need to eat food. Why can't you go have a conversation with her then? Why can't you present yourself in a, in a confident way and not need alcohol to be involved to be able to feel like you're a man? So you gotta let go of the crutches, man. You cannot be needing things to be able to talk to women or else you're gonna, be, you're gonna be crippled with anxiety every time you want to be mm. around a girl, you damn sure gonna have ED. Because just imagine this. Just imagine you see a girl out there and you want to talk to her. You see a girl at Walmart. You see a girl at uh, wherever you at when you doing your daily routine, and you think, damn, if I had a drink in me, damn, if my friends was here with me. See what I'm saying? <laughs> If you're drinking and you're trying to smash, you probably ain't gonna be able to get it up. So all this work you're putting in is gonna be for nothing. Get rid of the crutches. Learn how to talk to women without needing something extra. It comes with practice. Start practicing doing that. Hi guys, man. Today I'm here with John. John, where you from, man? Uh, from the UK, London. So my question it's to you is, when's the last take. time you got some? When's the last time you got late? <laughs> About three, three weeks ago, roughly. Three weeks. Okay. Yeah. And where did you meet the girl? Uh, so I live in Grand Cayman. So just in one of the local bars there. Okay. I think yeah, you it's like not a really an uh, online dating scene there. It's too small. Too small. So I believe this thing, though. Like you meet the majority of women from the clubs or where do you meet them? And usually in sort of a bar, sort of center around bars rather than dance floors. It's just the island vibe. It's not there are many places to go and dance and stuff like that. So it's more of a sitting down, cocktails. Everyone okay. kind of knows each other. Were you drunk when you approached her? How, how did you do it? Uh, I'd had a couple. Yeah, I'd had a couple okay. of cocktails. Um, so is it a bar there, door number four. So um, sort of a friend of a friend of a friend. We'd met each other a couple of times before, but never really spoken, got into a conversation. Do you feel like that scenario, the bar, kind of makes it easier for you to talk to girls? I would say having had a couple of drinks, it's a hell of a lot easier. Really? Um, yeah, a little bit more of a fluid conversation, but um, that vibe, generally, yeah. Okay. So have you been in a relationship in a, in a, in recently? Yes, yeah, so maybe I'd say like six months ago, I was in a relationship for the last year and a half. Okay, how did you meet her? Uh, so we used to work together. Ah, damn, okay. Yeah. So it seems like the women that you're meeting has kind of been something more convenient. Recently, yeah, but I'd say like maybe three or four years ago, like online dating scene was a big, big for thing you? for me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were your results with that? Uh, a lot of two or three dates and then fizzled out. Wasn't ah, long -term. so. No one long term from online dating. Were you able to sleep with those girls or like would it just fizzle out before that? I'd say maybe one in five. Damn, Damn one yeah. in five. So the, ma the majority of them, you would take them on dates and then it just, ha what would happen? So you'd have like, you know, maybe first date, you're Damn. meeting for the first time, getting to know each other, getting past the sort of awkward phase uh, right. of just like breaking. The second date, we fucking. 
Second day, you coming to my crib, I'm coming to yours. We fucking, like, what the fuck? Conversation. We ain't going up And then the you go date. somewhere, so the second date, spend a lot more time together. Maybe you kiss each other. Maybe? Something like that. Mm Shit. The second date, it is a guarantee we were fucking. We at one of each other's houses. We are fucking. There ain't no way that. If you get to date number three, that's usually when. Where's uh, the N-word? Yo, the merchandise. Thank you for the 22 months, man. I can appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Maybe yeah. a kiss. So you feel like a lot of girls might go on dates with guys and then uh, they change their mind in between first and third date? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. As a guy, no if since date naps didn't work for you, would you try date naps again? Maybe with a different approach? Like maybe, maybe work on your escalation a little bit. Maybe work on, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I mean, like, I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, like I said, just for where I live at the moment, there's just so few people. Everybody knows each other. So dating apps don't really work. You need some money. If you I know imitate is not serious. Imitate. Had like a Tinder or a um, Bumble. Bumble, yeah. yeah. Um, there's maybe, I don't know, 50 people on there. Damn. You know, I mean, the, the island's only got 100,000 people and that includes like... Okay. You know, so how long, how long are you here in Miami? Uh, just for the weekend. So I'm meeting up with a friend who I haven't seen in years. My sister's coming tomorrow. Okay, so you don't plan on dating nobody. You just have them. You just no, live for family. Not enough time. Yeah, just catching up. Got you. Yeah. Number four is denial. Oh, I'm struggling with women, but it's not my fault. Oh, the dating apps are wrong. You have better interactions with women. And y'all know what y'all know who these are. Person, shut the fuck up. That same girl you met at the bar or whatever. She was she was once on a dating app. Too. Stop being in denial of your inadequacy. You're not that good with women. It's okay. Yes, I you guys gotta be coachable. You gotta be willing to learn and adapt. Nobody's expecting you to be perfect. The one Achilles heel of us, of us men, is we think that we need to figure it out. We think that we're supposed to just tough through this shit with women and have everything figured out. That is not smart. So drop your ego. It's okay to be struggling. I struggled for a long time if I became better with women. That's why I told y'all, yo, no homo. And it's okay. All right, because I ain't want this nigga. But yeah, no, yo, look, that's why I told y'all. Look, be real with yourselves. If you know damn well you ain't getting no bitches, bruh, hit him up. For real, man. Hit him up. DM him the world elite. He'll really help y'all. Him or Austin Dunham. He really will help y'all. But I'm saying, you got to acknowledge it, bro. Don't be in denial, my nigga. Like, say, friends, if you know you can improve on your looks, but you just don't know what to do, hit him up. He'll help you. If you know your dating profile sucks and you're trying to get some, uh, some matches, some likes and shit like that, hit him up. Don't be hey, scared. Don't be trying to tell you Nobody's expecting Don't lie to yourself, you man. You need some money. A lot of men have problems with women. The first step to fix a problem is to admit you have a problem. But a lot of people don't want, they want to lie to themselves about it. The worst lies that you can tell are the ones that you tell to yourself, bro. The worst lies that you can tell are the lies you tell yourself. Now, a lot of y'all like lying to yourselves. No, I'm not that bad with women. I just got to, you just got to what? If you knew what you just got to do, you would have just done it. You still haven't done it because you don't know what it is, bro. Go out there and find a coach. He'll help Look you. Look what that money make a bitch do. Willie. Really? Anybody who does is lying to you. If your friend group right now expects you to be so good with women and you're not what you're pretending to be, you're lying to yourself. Because I guarantee you they're probably not that good with women either. They're pretending like they're so good with women, but they're probably overcompensating, splurging on dates, buying the girls gifts, and the girls are using them. It's better to accept that you're not doing as good as you want so you can identify why you're struggling. Being in denial of where you stand with women only hurts you. It doesn't Facts. hurt me. Facts. Because I can accept you when I'm fucking up. I can Exactly. Excuses upon excuses. I hate it so much because I used to do that. A lot of people do. And a lot of people have done it. The thing is, you got to acknowledge it. Acknowledge that these are excuses and, and then acknowledge that you want better. I can accept when I'm not good at something. And the men who get the most results can do that. But if you think you've got it all figured out and you can't look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm not doing as good as I want. I'm not doing as good as I think I should be doing. What can I fix? Put the responsibility on yourself so you can get better results. Because you're the person ultimately responsible for getting what you want. So you gotta stop being in denial. Stop blaming everything else but yourself and look within. The results are within. It starts from you. Accepting that you're not where you wanna be and start doing the things that you need to do to start fixing it. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like more content like this, make sure you subscribe. Yo, shout out to FedEx. FedEx gay. Bro. Yo, really? No, 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 he ain't gay. W's in the chat. Nigga. D okay, King Nato's you're just going crazy now as soon as we ended. Yo, W video. W video, that shows y'all, bro. A lot of dudes out here ain't getting it, bro.
They not. It is what it is. It happens, man. Yo, a lot of dudes aren't. There's plenty of dudes that come in here. They want to acknowledge that they have a problem getting women. But the thing is, y'all ain't looking for a coach because y'all think y'all going to figure it out. Where has that led you? To a Twitch chat still telling other niggas you don't get bitches. Game. That's it. But you could get better. The thing is, go out there and try to get a coach. Try. It is what it is, man. Look, if you DM FedEx Fearless, he has plenty of free ebooks and all types of shit, man. Go out there and look for it. But acknowledge the fact that you can't get women. You can come in here. If you can come in here and type it, you can't go over there and try to ask him what you can do.